Hey everyone, I'm Fred Ranger, and I hope you are doing good, that you're safe, that you're healthy. Back in the man cave here to shoot a little video that you might be interested in. But first, let's roll that intro while I sip my tea. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you have asked me uh, what could be a very small kit that I could put on my shoulder and travel with that won't actually tax my back and that won't be like a huge DSLR type setup where you actually you know end up mostly leaving it in the hotel room because it's too heavy. Now that we can't travel, I mean we will get back to normal and we will be traveling the world. I'm actually looking forward to it. So keep staying at home and saving lives. Uh, but in the meantime, I said, okay, let's, let's answer that question on the channel directly. If you do have any questions about any of the products that I'm mentioning here today, please ask them down below. There will be links also. Those are affiliate links that actually helps the channel stay alive and it helps me bring you even more content moving forward. So first off, the bag itself, what I throw all my small minimalist kit in is that Ona bag. Ona bag, it's a very high quality bag, not too expensive when you look at the quality that you're getting. And it served me well because it is a weather resistant material that you're seeing here outside. So you can bring it in the rain or I wouldn't go into you know heavy pouring rain because it does have some holes here, but uh, it is protecting your gear that's inside. So on a bag, highly recommend it. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in learning more about this bag. But the main camera that I use for photography, and this won't be a surprise if you are a follower of this channel, but is the Fujifilm X100F. And this camera I really love because it is so small. Let's take a photo here. There you go. It is so small, you heard that, it's very quiet at the same time. And this one is the X100F, so it is not weather sealed. That's something that I'm really looking forward to, the X100V. I am working with Fujifilm and they are sending me units, so please subscribe and activate the bell notification and you'll know when, I, when I'll be dropping my uh, video about the V. But for now, I'm using this, the F, which is the fourth one. And look at this beauty. I mean, this is very, very small package. It packs uh, the same sensor that you have in the X-T2 and the X-H1, which are brilliant sensors. And I bring it everywhere I go. So this is my main camera when it comes to having a minimalist kit. Although it is a fixed lens, this is a 23 millimeter fixed lens. I am shooting most of the time at 50 when I use my other cameras. So here's the deal. Fujifilm thought about that and they created what we call the, and I have some notes here, the TCL X100, and this is the version two, that you can put on your X100V or F or T or S, and it actually converts that 23 millimeter lens into a 50 equivalent millimeter lens. And here's how you do it. You just unscrew this here, and this is the front lens ring. So when you unscrew it like that, you can now screw this right here and the, the camera will do the conversion automatically. So you won't have to go in there and uh, select anything special. So you just, oh, there we go. Screw it like that. And now all of a sudden you now have a 50 millimeter equivalent and you can start shooting portraits and you can start shooting a little bit more telephoto. So I really like this setup again, very, light and very small for what it can do. And it doesn't degrade any of the quality of the images. I'll put some samples so you can see. So that's basically what's in the main compartment of the bag. And you will see that with most of the gear that's on the table right now, I can run any photo shoot and I can definitely make it my travel friendly setup for photography. For videography, what do I use? Well. Let's stay minimalist. And this is where this little side pocket becomes interesting. And this is the DJI Osmo Pocket. I love this camera. Why? Well, first off, it is a 4K camera right here and it is stabilized. So 
two very interesting thing when you want to start filming cinematic stuff you want that stabilization and that 4k image quality of course is something that's interesting you won't be able to do a lot of like blurry backgrounds and so on but at the end of the day again this is a light uh, pack and this is something that you want to throw on your shoulder that's already uh, ready to go for any situation and you don't have to bring the big camera so for me that's set up here so the dji osmo pocket the fujifilm x100f is the ultimate photo and video um, setup i will add that sometimes i use this little manfrotto pixie tripod because it is very easy to travel with you just put the camera on it you just screw it like that and you now have a little tripod that you can use on the table on any flat surface very small in terms of footprint also what else do we have in here little light this is the godox and i don't have the exact number i'll put it down below but this is a godox light and it can light uh, you know very efficiently uh, a, a scene so i like that i like that better than any flash some business cards also this little tool here this is the small rig uh, multi-purpose tool and you have all the types of screws and, and bits and pieces you need to manage your camera stuff also if you want to improve the quality of the audio of the dji osmo pocket here's a little tip now that you have a converter that's available on the market for the usb-c at the bottom you can now plug in a usb-c adapter to a 1 8 inch jack here and you can plug in a microphone just like you would do with a dslr with a you know fujifilm camera or any type of camera where you're filming your video and all of a sudden you have a a higher quality audio setup with your DJI Osmo Pocket. So I really like this little setup here. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, well, some cleaning cloths, of course, because you never know when there's gonna be some stuff to wipe and those are very good from Zeiss. I really like them. I buy them in like hundreds uh, pack. So that's pretty much it. And I will sit at the last element. It all fits nicely and I, sometimes I push it a bit and I bring the iPad as my main editing machine and with this Apple Pencil it becomes very interesting to play with photos and videos in Lightroom and look at that the owner bag if I stretch it a bit and this might be a bit uh, uh, too much but it can actually fit and if, if it wants to fit it can actually fit in the back right here so now I have a full editing machine right on this little bag I have all of my cameras and all my stuff in the bag so I consider this being a very portable and a very friendly kit and a very minimalist kit for photographers and videographers if you have any questions about any of the gear that I talked about today please ask your question down below I'll be able to answer them if not consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up if you like this video and what is I want to know what is your travel kit is it similar to mine do you have an x100f or v or t or s or the original one for that matter um, or do you have another setup maybe you're on a sony system maybe you're on a gh5 or something like that i'm interested in learning more about what is your perfect minimalist travel video and photo setup tell me down below i've been fred ranger please remember to enjoy life to be happy and enjoy your minimalist gear cheers